Hi guys, welcome back to another forecast and projections. This will be for our full moon on November 19th at 8.57 a.m. So this is Eastern Standard Time. This will be a lunar eclipse. So this will be under our zodiac sign Taurus. Your safety depends on the need for stability, which is not easy to satisfy now. And I feel like definitely with the news, like, you know, it can be overwhelming and it's, it's hard not to sit there and watch these things happen. But it's like, again, I've been talking about this, like, you know, someone like myself, you know, if you're, if you're sensitive and you're an empath and you absorb all that, it's like right now you got to really watch your energy because we have that shadow full moon. So you know how powerful the full moon is, you know, you don't want to absorb all that. You know, you want to take on all that to, for yourself. You'll, you'll burn yourself out. You have to learn to accept change as part of life. The basic problem is finding your own self-respect in order to ensure that you do not mistakenly seek in the material things. When you accept yourself for who you are, it will become easier for you to find peace and tranquility in the outside world. So learning to observe but not absorb absorb but sometimes it's like you know one thing after another after another after another and it's just like it keeps piling on the poop pile and it's like i have to learn to sit there and separate it with taurus in the sky they're very hard workers very driven um very goal getters very goal oriented you know a lot of positive grounding energy and i feel like definitely we need that especially with the shadow moon they were saying something about moon water and i'm not uh familiar with moon water like you know like i haven't done my research or anything on it um but i feel like they were saying like you know be careful with this one because you want to absorb absorb negative energy right because it is a, a, a darker moon but i'm not i know some people say three days before three days after right and I, you know because the eclipse will be over the next day so or the few hours so if you could still drinking or not I'm not sure but something I would like to delve into but just putting it out there because they mentioned it I know I'm not the only one that's been experiencing this but you know the things that are being influenced is our neck our larynx throat vocal cords thyroid gland tonsils Adam's apple so you know be very mindful you know wrap your neck up keep it warm if you're in the colder climates you know but definitely, uh, I don't know if you, you're a fan of apple cider vinegar, but they're like, you know, to sit there and cleanse your body, I guess, especially um, mucus and whatnot. They're showing like a nice hot shower, getting your rest. So, you know, setting up those boundaries. Like if, you know, you've been going through it, it's like, you know, I need to sit there and get my best, my, my rest, not my best, but you want to be your best, but I need to recharge. So, you know, I feel like they're saying, don't exhaust yourself. Don't exert yourself. We're going to go to our Chinese Oracle. So we got the number 34, which is Shen, which is heaven. So we got the 777 there. And then we have Shen, which is thunder. So, you know, they're definitely showing the sky where it's like clouded over and you can see the lightning behind there. But I don't know. I It depends who you are. With me, I find peace with it. So I know definitely some people, trauma or whatnot, um, dealing with that kind of thing gives them anxiety so it just depends who you are but it's like this it's like there's something going on in the sky and it's like we're a lot of us are seeking answers from the sky like greater specifically that's what they said going looking to the sky for answers you know specifically creator um depending who you are what you believe in you know universe creator god you know whoever you believe in but you know it's like that powerful charged time but you know there's definitely a lot going on that you know, could be triggering for some. So when I get into the messages, you know, if things, if you've been going through it like anxiously and this kind of stuff triggers you, just honestly pass by it. You know, um, I'm not here to, you know, harm anyone. I'm just telling you what they tell me. So we get great Virgo. So congratulations, there's strength in Virgo in this situation. That it, like that, of a ram that knocks down a fence to free himself from captivity. And I definitely feel like, you know, without getting too much into it, 
I feel like a lot of us are starting to feel like we're getting into captivity. Like they're trying to sit there and herd us sheep into this pen. And there's a lot of us that are like, you know what? We did what, you know, we feel as a personal, as a person, we did what we felt what was right. And, you know, we're being told, you know, we're being prodded with these electric, you know, tasers or, you know, the cattle prods telling, nope, get in the pen, you know? So I definitely could see what they're talking about here. This points to a time when a strong force comes into its own and asserts its power. So we definitely get this in the messages. Again, if you are, you know, sensitive and don't want to hear that kind of stuff, no problem. Just go right to the cards. When a leader comes into a position of power, he or she's personal strength is actually already peaked. And you definitely get that in the messages that, you know, certain people were bestowed with certain powers and privileges and they were supposed to use it for the greater good and got corrupt. And now they're trying to flee the situation. We're all stuck here, like holding the bag. Though great st uh, stamina was uh, required in climbing to the top of the mountain once at the, at the, the summit, the support of others is needed to maintain position. So they're, they've, they've lost their position because they're not supported. Therefore, a shift in a te uh, attitude becomes necessary to perceive what is right and just. Let your strength be t tempered by wisdom. To maintain power and strong leader, leader lends to share it with others. For only when then will his or her position be secured. A strong leader will not only be um, a pressured, a, a, a possessor of power, but a, a source of it. So they're showing with the numerology deck, and they were really strong on that one to pull from. You know, they say a great leader leads beside everybody. They're not a dictator at the top, and that's the problem right now. There's too many in them, you know, when they had their summit, which is fine. But the thing is, it's like it's not transparent. We don't see everything. We're only showing what they want us to see. But it's like, you know, we're already starting to see this in Australia, you know, and, you know, everyone's like, oh, that'll never come here. We all said that about a lot of things. We didn't we say this about two years ago. Oh, that'll never happen here. And, you know, so it's just like. This is what they're talking about. You give someone certain powers, you know, because they keep talking about the, you know, and again, trigger warning, new world order. And it's like all these leaders want that position. All these leaders want to be on that console. So they have to show that they could crack the whip and people will fall in line. So they're going to keep cracking harder and harder. You know, like they said, like a ram being, we're being put into a pen. They're trying to put us into this pen and it's just like, you know, they're going to crack harder and harder just so they could be on that console and they could be a part of that new government. If you find yourself in an influential position, it is important to act responsibly and, and react with care. Power must be allowed to be discerned into a raw force that rides rough, um, rough over everything in its path. A strong sense of responsibility for the collective good is key to the, the successful exercise of power. By following what is intuitively known to be for the greater good. We avoid reckless abuse, which is in the end, only undermine the source of our strength. Arrogance contains the seed of its own undoing. And that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, they're mentioning a certain person that is in a billionaire status, was given this power to sit there and they were supposed to use it for good. And they didn't do it that way. Somehow, somewhere along the line, they got corrupted. They wanted to be famous. I don't know what it is with these people that they want to be Hollywood starlets. And it's like, why? You know, don't you want the, like, you know, you were given this power for a reason to sit there and change the world. Instead, you want to be a starlet. And now they realize they messed up and now they want to flee. And it's like, you know, seriously? So it's like every action has a consequence. So we're going to get into our Viking runes. So this is basically like the Vikings tarot. So the first one we have is Destiny, the Gambler's Rune. And such represents the Cup of Dice or Fortune. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. So Luck Jupiter on our side as we move forward. It indicates the influence of life may be dawn to chance. And so we can go either well or not. The lesson here is to learn 
to take the hand you've been dealt with and make lemons, lemonade out of lemons. So this would be similar to the Wheel of Fortune. It could also represent hidden meanings, secrets, and, cha and change. Fate, mystery, feminine, fertility, chance, fortune, mysticism, unknown. And I feel like definitely, I feel like, you know, some of us were destined to live a life where it's just like, you know, we go with the flow of life and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, um, we are, are all born with that higher levels of thinking. But, you know, speaking for myself, I, I pushed it away most of my life because it scared the living bejesus out of me, you know, so, um, you know, it's not definitely not for the faint of heart, especially when certain things happen around the world and you, you know, you absorb that kind of stuff. It's just like, it can be overwhelming. So it's like learning to, uh, harness it. So, you know, obviously, you know, you want, your heart goes out to so many situations, but it's like, you know, I can absorb all this and fizzle out and burn out, or I could sit there and learn like, you know what I, you know, pray for those situations, you know, put, you know, positive influence into the world, you know, or be like, I can't control every situation. We can't as much as we would love to, as much, as much as we love to prevent so many things, it's like, we can only do so much, you know what I mean? So it's learning how to use uh, what our abilities to, for the positive and to do that positive influence. Our second ruin is joy. So we definitely get this knocking to this. Doesn't mean that everything is going to just, you know, go back to normal. It's not. We're never going to be the same again. But the thing is, like, they're talking about other things. It's definitely, definitely with food resource. This is definitely kind of like apocalyptic. Like, um, when they talk about, you know, the end of days and stuff like that, you know, what they're talking about definitely does have that undertone. Especially, you know, you see the flooding going around. Um, the news, but again, it's like, you know, we can donate to help those people. You know what I mean? We could pray for them. We could, you know what I mean? It's just like, don't, as much as we wish we could take every single one of them into our home, it's just like, you know, again, things are out of our hand. So this is called Wanjo, is represented of the clan flag victory. It represents triumph, triumph and joy, security, safety, celebrations, belonging. It could also indicate harmony, prosperity, spiritual rewards, pleasure, joy, feast, celebration, comfort, belonging, community, success, uh, festivals. So, you know, we do definitely have knockings of that in the next coming weeks for the American Thanksgiving. We have Christmas coming up, but I feel like they're saying this is like a season like no other. And it's, it's true. It brings up a lot of positivity. For some, it could be, you know, a little bit of both because if you experience loss, of, you know, and it brings up all of that. But I feel like it's like find joy wherever you can. And, you know, we cannot l allow uh, ourselves to fester in those, you know, yes, we can, you know, be bring those loved ones. But it's like hang up their stocking and talk about them in positive ways. Watch their favorite movies, make their favorite dishes. It's like, how do we change? You know what I mean? Because it's so much going on right now. And it's kind of like a hammer beating us down. It's kind of like the survival of the fittest. And remember that. That's why they keep overwhelming us the way they do. Because they want, you know what I mean? They're trying to fizzle out as many of us as they can. So it's just like, you know, on your part, on your own behalf, you know, sit there and bring that light into your own life. If you can't sit there and be a light for everyone else, that's totally fine. Do what you're capable of. So even if you're just that light for yourself, you know, or maybe even the loved ones around you. Be that light. So our next ruin is strength. So the, the represents the wild bull. This is the stone of strength. Endurance, hard work, perseverance, motivation, and determination. It can indicate a time of great energy, speed, and health. It also increased power and masculinity. Strength, endurance, health, courage, vergor. Vitality, force, perseverance. So kind of touching on the ancient Chinese oracle there where it's just like we're getting this urge. We're getting this like surge of, you know, I feel like going back to our ancestors. Like, you know, we're kind of, you know, the indigenous people have been saying this. We're trying to, we're sort of going back to the old ways. You know, and they're saying of governance and all that, you know, but, you know, they keep mentioning this one world order.
And I definitely feel like moving forward, they're selling to follow our intuition. And I feel like number one thing is, you know, taking care of yourself and what you can handle and what you can't. You know, if you're someone that is sensitive and can't take on um, so much, you know what I mean? It's definitely doing what you feel you can take on and what you can't take on, you know? I definitely feel like there's a lot of fierce people there, mama bear energy, papa bear energy, but I definitely feel like, you know, you know, some, some of us cannot take on the bigger things. So Lagos represents the element of water. So it's tied to our emotions, represents intuition and indicates healing power of renewal, heightened imagination of psychic abilities. It can also relate to mystery, secrets, the unknown, the underworld. Water, intuition, imagination, healing, dreams, mystery, insight, instinct, knowing. And I feel like as they're saying, is your destiny, you know, to live a joyous life, to have courage in your life, you know, going back to our first three, but it's like also following your intuition, knowing what you can and cannot take on, what battles you should and should not fight. You know what I mean? And it's not to sit there and say like, you know, we're not going to be courageous here, but it's also being like, Doing what makes sense for you and your family, you know, we cannot do, we cannot sit there and do what, you know, some people are doing because it's like, oh, that's the cool thing to do. It's like, no, you do what suits you and your family. If it doesn't make sense to others, that's fine. It doesn't have to, it's your life. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, that's how you have to move forward with things. Doing what makes sense for you and your family. It may not make sense to people. Oh, you're weak. You're this, you're that. You, let them run their mouth. Let them do whatever. It doesn't have to make sense to them. That's the thing. We have to stop living our lives for everybody else and start living our lives for ourselves. So this is Rido. This is Journey. And um, represents a wheel. So again, we have that wheel. This could be both, both physical and travel. And a holiday or house move. A spiritual voyage and expansion of your horizons. It could also indicate things being put in perspective evolution and the cycle of life and that's exactly what we were just talking about you know we're the, the world is changing you know they've been talking about this change for a very long time some people thought it was full of it and now we're starting to see those things and now they're just like oh it's this they can blame it on whatever they want but it's like this is what they've been talking about for a long time you know the map evolved once upon a time and now it's evolving again how many times in history have we seen the map evolve and it's happening again you know what I mean? So it's just like, just kind of putting things into perspective. So I love the fact that they talk about this journey. You know, they talk about our destiny, you know, and I feel like they're, they're saying find joy and strength and following your intuition on your journey while you're here. You know, that's all we can do. You know, we, we, that's why I say stop living your life for other people. So our next one is Swilo. So which is the sun. The happy symbol of the sun represents the time of joy, abundance, luck, and good fortune. It is a cause of celebrating and the ind indicates success of your goals. Optimal health and the, all, the elemental power. Success, vitality, inspiration, justice, success, joy, happiness, abundance. And I feel like that's like a lot of people think that you have to have those things in a material way. And I feel like... If you're happy, if you wake up and you're happy and you're, you know, excited for who's around you and what the day brings, I feel like in that in itself, you're the wealthiest person. It doesn't necessarily have to be a material gain. One person said it best that I saw recently. It's like, you know, who put this um, value on the money? And it's like Western society. Everywhere else around the world, that doesn't mean anything. Them? Wealth is a total is a concept of what's around you and what you you know what I mean, family and children and you know a, a loving partner you know good health everyone's happy that to them is what you know to them is what is sustainable that to them is wealth it's only what you know like I said these people that sit there and um are the thinkers and the inventors and the engineers and all of this of the world and don't realize that what they have is really powerful but they they want that celebrity 
yes, they're making getting paid lots of money, but that doesn't matter to them. Now they all want that celebrity. They all want to be somebody. They want to be in the newspapers. They want to be talked about. They want to be on hot topics. And it's like, for what? Like, for what, what, what did you gain from that? You sold your soul to the devil, as they say. For what? Just so you could be on page six? You know, for the stupidest reasons? It's like, it's not even for your accomplishments. It's for stupid reasons. So our last one is the elk because it looks like the horns of the elk represents defense and protection. If you get this one, it means that you have the eternal power to manifest your dreams and that spirit guides are protecting you along your path. It is said to act as a shield and guide you against evil. So a lot of people will sit there and do the, um, there's this symbolism that you can put on your left wrist. Our left hand is our receiving hand. And that is uh, where you, it's like pro the protection of the household, the family. You could ride it outside your door, um, around your property line. And this is what, that is part of it. The, this Alcorn. So that protection, protection, guardian, awakening, courage, defense, instincts. And with 1111, a lot of, I've noticed people that I've, you know, read for, um, before and during and after, it's like, you could see where that changes, you know? So I feel like some people are more of that readiness to do so because of everything that has happened. So we're going to get into our channel messages. Again, if you're sensitive or don't even want to hear this, just skip to, uh, you know, everything will be um, timestamped so you can skip to what, you know, you want to hear. So they're saying looking to the, the, to the skies to help her crater. So they show like, you know, clouded over sky at night and you can see the lightning flashing in the, in the, in the, um, in the clouds. So you can feel that power, that energy, you can hear the thunder. You know, you could see the lightning. You could feel the charged energy. Uh, so this is where, you know, I had a page and I have no idea where it went. I was writing down my messages and I don't know what happened to it. But uh, people have clones in their places on Earth but have been gone for months. And this is where I'm saying where they were the engineers, the thinkers, the shakers, the movers. And that way where we're evolving. And it's like you're given this power to help, you know, people so it's like we can end you know famine we can end war we can end hunger we can end a lot of things and instead of doing those things they're like well i'd rather just be greedy and be a billionaire and it's like that's fine but it's like why are they selling off all their assets why are they saying oh we're just taking off taking a trip to space and it's like mm -hmm. you know so it's like you know don't don't sit there and look to these people for guidance honestly so, um, paper money will have no value, Bitcoin, cyber coin, um, if that, so it's just like, you know, you're seeing where it's just like, if you ever seen the movie colony, I feel like it's going to get to that. So they're saying rations for food. So you're basically given, you know, this, um, MRE and it's like, that's, that's it for the day. It's like, that's what you have to survive off of. Um, they're saying like, they're going to have special ops like ice. Uh, going door to door to check if families have uh, been, you know, given, you know, cough, cough shot, kicking in doors, punching, pushing people, um, gave power, uh, fame, fortune to uh, misuse it. Now trying to flee, hide, want uh, to be celebrities, change the world, but you uh, but got corrupt with greed and envy. So, you know, because they all want to be a Kardashian or whatever. Um, so going to more of what's going on at this point at this juncture right now that is going on in the background i don't know if we'll ever get to that point but this is what they were showing me um positive change in the air uh they're talking specifically about the canadian government backing down the the person in power is, is saying i was wrong but i can't see what they're talking about and i was like but why why are you wrong um so they're saying um why are all of a sudden the billionaires starting to help people um, look at what they're doing? So we're not looking at what they're doing behind the, the, the shadows here. They're saying they're highlighting George Lucas. He wasn't crazy as you all thought. So making his own ship. So they're showing an oil leak in one of the um, oceans. Um, I'm not sure if it's so much an ocean because of where they're highlighting. Um, it is a mass of water. But it's a, a, a oil leak and it's pretty big and it's um, over uh, 
a wetland. So they have the helicopter. So this is obviously a news report. They're showing where it happens. And it's a massive leak. But they're saying in Alberta. And I'm trying to like visually see where they're talking about. Um, unless I go to a map. But I'm not familiar with Alberta's uh, water mass. But there's talk the ocean I don't think is around them. You know what I mean? So um, I feel like this is just going to be in a certain area. I could see like the border and all that. But I don't think there's a mass of water between the two so um they're saying cough cough under control but this is where the booth bird flu will is going to peak up and we talked about this before and then they're showing uh swine flu they're showing um uh animals that have passed away i'm, I'm not going to get graphic so this is where they're going to try and convert to more a vegetarian diet they're showing more like star trek where you take this pill you put it in the microwave and it makes whatever they're showing that um you know, very much like, you know, they're talking about, you know, uh, the end of days as they would call it. But, uh, they're saying that the locusts are going to eat up crops and it just comes out of nowhere. Like there was no warning, um, of, of this. So it's just like, well, what do you do? You know, like, how do we get around this? And you know, they, 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 per, um, produce, you know, they mate like 500 times faster than anything else. So it's just like, how do you get ahead of this? So they're showing like burning the crops, trying to like, I guess, set them on fire. So this is where, you know, they're talking about, you know, people lining up, you know, um, you're not even, it's like, you're, you know, when you go painting and you wear that zip up plastic thing, it's like you're wearing that and you're lining up. So you've got like work detail and it's like, you know, you're lined up to do the MREs. So you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I don't know where we go from here, honestly. So we're going into the um, channeled cards. So it looks like there's some sort of imbalance that's happening in life here. And you're choosing to move forward with this. But you're setting boundaries ahead of you. And this is going to lead to you know, new beginnings and answered prayers and solutions for you. So I feel like whatever is out of balance, I feel like whatever they're saying, like it's time to move forward. You can't, you know, we're talking about this, like our mental health, which is very important right now. And I feel like that is something that all governments are overlooking that, you know, the times that we're in, they're just like, kind of like, you know, I understand. No, you don't understand. It's very stressful for an everyday person to sit there and deal with what they're dealing with, you know, financially with their families and trying to figure out how we go, move ahead. And this is going on. That's going on. You know, take this, take that. That's overwhelming in itself. All the side effects that, you know, they're saying that are untrue, unfounded, you know, but it's just like not knowing what you're giving your children. You know, it's one thing for yourself, but you've given that to your child is another thing. As much as they like to say, that, well, I understand. I don't think they do, but... Um, then you see everything else going on in the world. So I feel like, you know, this is where I'm saying, look after your own mental health, do what is important, you know, try to bring it more back into what's going on with you. And that's why I say distance yourself from the news or anything that overwhelms you because it's a lot, you know, and obviously we can only see, you know, with myself, I can only see whatever they show me, you know? So, um, you know, do the best you can is all I can suggest. Eliminate the things that uh, that overwhelm you. The negative things that overwhelm you. So we get a lot of moving forward here. Because they're showing the Seven of Cups. And it looks like you're like choosing like what we do next. You know what I mean? Like you're making a decision. Taking a step back. Making a decision. We're, we're, you know, because we're talking about the Nine of Cups a lot with um, the regular readings. With the uh, the dailies, like when I call regular readings, like, you know, Monday through Friday. And I feel like, you know, you're making a choice here. You know, like, you know, what's my next step here? And I feel like this is kind of like the adjacent possibilities with all these doors. And you're going to choose one. But like the um, Enchanted Forest, it's like you're going to concentrate on one door. That The other doors will disappear. That's the door you go through and that's the journey. So very much like a new beginning. They said the Wheel of Fortune. We're moving forward. Luck Jupiter on our side. They're saying whatever this decision is, it's going to stop you from keeping up at night. 
you know, you know, those weird, those worries, those, the, the, the depression, the fear, the anxiety. And this is what I'm talking about. Don't think about the past because that's where you get depressed. Don't think about the future because that's where anxiety comes in right now. Live in this moment, you know? And yes, it's not perfect for everybody. Everybody has, but it's like, what is in front of you and what can you control? And that's the biggest thing. We cannot control what's going on, unfortunately, out east, uh, or excuse me, out west, you know, of Canada. We can't control that. All we can do is whatever we're able to afford to send help, send, you know, give donations, do whatever we can. Be, you know, help as much as we can. You know, what can you do? Like, you know what I mean? But don't let it overtake your mental health. Very much with the Ten of Swords. And this is being in our head. And this is what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? But I feel like this is like we're letting those things go. You know what I mean? Because this doesn't necessarily have to be physical um, uh, being portrayed. You know, because this is the ultimate portrayal card, right? It's the Ten of Swords. You know? And they are highlighting the full, the full moon here. You know? And this is why, you know, I was saying like, you know, the biggest mistake. And I even posted it from other people is thinking that what we do for others that they would do for us you know what i mean but i feel like it's like you're finding a place where you know you're letting that deception why doesn't this not focus we're leaving letting that deception you know leave us this is where it's like making yourself stronger and this is what i'm talking about we're moving forward oh why won't you focus there we go it's like you know we're moving forward we're putting this boundary in front of us. We're putting this shield in front of us so it no longer harms us. We're no longer allowing what has happened in the past to affect us. You know, the other way of seeing the Seven of Cups is an illusion where we think we have a lot of options or we think we have a lot of people by our side. And, you know, we come to, and it keeps us up at night, but it's like coming to a realization that they were just there to, you know, not even be there. So it feels like ultimate portrayal. So it just depends on your situation, but I love the fact that you are choosing to move on. So that means you are mentally stronger in that fact of I choose to move on. I choose not to let this affect me anymore. You know, all we can do is learn from it. You know, we can't let it dictate the rest of our life. It has happened to us. You know, I'm going to observe this situation. I'm going to learn from this situation in hopes that I don't repeat it again. And that's all you can do and release it because it no longer serves you. Hanging on to things no longer serves you. It doesn't serve you at all. All it does is mentally and physically drain you. So release it. So it looks here is that, you know, you didn't listen to your intuitive abilities. You know, high priestess is about, excuse me, a hidden secret. You know, I mean, but I feel like a, a lot of it, especially lately, is our higher self. Where we're listening to our intuition, listening to our as they say, our gut feeling, or it's like, you know, all of a sudden something kind of stands out to you or a message or an image and you're like, okay. And I feel like, you know, here we kind of let ourselves down. We didn't listen to our intuition, but we're taking the higher ground in it. It's like, okay, you know what? I didn't listen to your cues, but you know, I'm going to take the higher ground in this situation. You know what I mean? You're about to call checkmate on something. And then they're saying it's a time for rest and rejuvenation. So, I feel like, you know, listening to your, I feel like a lot of times we sit there because we're told things, you're full of it, you're this, you're that, and it's like you don't listen to yourself, and then you're just like, I should have listened to myself, you know, it's learning to build that relationship where you trust yourself more, because I feel like a lot of us, and I feel like we've been conditioned for this, is that outer um, confirmation, that outer approval. You know, not from ourself. We, we, we always are taught, oh, you're selfless. You're are selfish rather you're, you know, you're egotistical. And I'm not talking about the people that are egotistical. I'm talking about the people that, you know, are confident and they, you know, they know what they're doing and they're like, oh, you're this, you're that because they want you to not sit there and believe in yourself. And they want you to always, you know, be dependent upon them and do what they say. It's a way of controlling you. You're going to do what I say because I put all this fear in you. And now that you're fearful and you're vulnerable, I could get, make you do what I want because I'll sit there and threaten you with my absence. You know, you should never sit there and live in fear of someone's absence. If you, if you're afraid of losing someone to that point where it cripples you, it's like, well, wh wh why are they doing that? Because they're trying to control you because they're insecure that you will leave them. So going back to the um, 
with the um ancient ruin with the uh, Chinese oracle, um seven seven seven. So divine guidance, time to to get rewarded for your efforts, indicating a path of following your guardian angels, going the right way to achieve your success. And I feel like that's what's most important in life, is doing what you feel is successful. You know what I mean? Not doing what other people call as successful. And that's where it's like, you got to watch what, you know, who you're following, who you're listening to. Because again, some people will manipulate you and threaten you like, oh, you know, I won't be around or I'll take away this because they know that you, you know, I don't know, maybe you need them for help or assistance. And they threaten you with that absence. And it's like, well, that's the way of them manipulating me and trying to control me. And that's their insecurities of being like, oh, they're going to leave me because they don't no longer need me. I'm afraid of being left alone, so I can't control them. So I got to, you know, put even, you know, the stronger, you know, um, manipulation, you know, to keep you in, to keep that leash on you, basically. So one number that's sticking out is 3434. 34. So they're asking us to be more yielding and in integrity and um, particularly in our life. Solid foundation settle into your prosperity but also usher the energies of determination and creative power so this number is special for light workers asking you to yield for more integrity particularly in your life making yourself content with what you have and i feel like that's the thing we're always in that envious you know oh they have this they have that and it's like be happy with what you have at this moment. They always show me this gentleman walking, coming in home from work and he's about to open the door and it's like this golden light exuding from his home. And, you know, he's about to open the door and he can hear the kids are laughing and joking around and his partner. And, you know, and he says to himself, I am the richest man on earth. I have $20 in my pocket, but look what I, I get to come home to. So it's like building that sanctuary in your life. And that's why I'm saying it's like, he's not worried about the, the mortgage. He's not worried about car payments. He's not worried about this, 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 like, yes, you know, obviously that is a part of life and this is what they've conditioned us to, but it's like being happy with thine self, just being happy. Look, can you look at yourself and say, I'm happy with who I am, you know, who you are, like th that person that everybody can count on for advice, you know, a shoulder to cry on, whatever it is. It's like, you know, I feel like, you know, we definitely overlook what we bring uh, to the table, you know, and that's the way that they try to, they try to make us like, you know, like you don't matter or, you know, uh, you're overlooked or anything like that. Cause they want us to feel insecure because they want us to sit there and say, well, if I have the fancy, if the fancy, everybody will come over to me and pay attention to me because I have that. But now you're in debt for how many years because you bought that stupid thing. So we're going to get into Card. So I definitely feel like a lot of you, and welcome to anyone that is new here, but um, not to read so much of the definitions. So we're going to get into the cards. And um, this is the first hand that I have. So we have the sun. So definitely going back to the Viking runes with the sun here. So ultimate success, riding on your high horse, the purity of the situation. And I definitely feel like, you know, this is what we should strive for is that golden light is funny enough with that. I was talking about the gentleman, you know, that that golden light that, you know, in our life and that's what you know should matter at the end of the day so for some of you they're highlighting the lover so they're highlighting either yourself in a partnership your partnership that you have shh, duality this is definitely gemini you know with the red wings i feel like the passion we were talking about this all week this week has all definitely been about lovers and the two of cups all week has been lovers two of cups every single deck that we pulled from so, um, for some of you, you are calling in love and I feel like that they're calling, you know, that presence or they're saying you're successful in the partnership you're in. Again, it depends where you are. This could be a partnership at work. Doesn't necessarily, not, doesn't have to necessarily be love. This could be with a family member, but I definitely feel like, you know, they're saying that either this is present in your life or it's coming into your life. So we have the unlo uh, unconditional love. And I feel like that's what a lot of people, and this is what I'm talking about. You know, when we sit there and it's like, yeah, you know, you work hard, like, you know, Taurus, what is Taurus all represented about? Working hard, playing hard, loving hard, you know, they're uh, loyal partners. You know what I mean? 
And I definitely feel like they strive to bring out the best in their partners as a Taurus. Um, you know, and look what the animal that is represented there. You know, it's, it's like the, the ox, the cattle, you know what I mean? So um, we got that with the Viking runes as well. With strength, it's ox. So I feel like, you know, that's, I feel like what that's what makes you happy. You know, do things that make you happy, but don't exhaust you to the fact that you're, you're stressed out about it. You know what I mean? But I definitely feel like there's a highlighting here that unconditional love is around you. And I feel like that's something we should be grateful for. You know, that is the definition of success. If you're calling in love, I definitely feel like that's coming in. So they're highlighting our home, you know, definitely holiday season is coming up. So, you know, we have in the American Thanksgiving, I'm not sure if anyone else celebrates the same time as the uh, American Thanksgiving. We also have Christmas coming up, but I feel like, you know, highlighting, you know, with the two wreaths around the people's head, this is like the ultimate success, you know, ultimate happiness, you know, maybe you're looking to buy a home, move home, maybe do a renovation at home, go on vacation. This is a lot of time where people start traveling. Um, so highlighting these wonderful things in life, this is also seen as an engagement. So maybe you're highlighting you and your partner, you know, that this will be an ex successful engagement of unconditional love. Everything is in a content place, you know, so definitely something they can highlight here, you know, uh, engagements, weddings, celebrations, obviously do it safely with what's going on. So the emperor, you know, and I definitely feel like, you know, Again, we, we're getting these very strong um, animals, you know, with the ox, you know, definitely representing with Taurus. We have, you know, Aries, you know, with the ram. So we're getting these strong, stubborn animals standing our ground. Where they were talking about they're trying to push, um, you know, going back to the Chinese oracle where they're saying they're trying to push this cattle, these sheep, as they call us, into this pen. You know, because they're all trying to get on the, that console when the, you know, when there's one government, you know, that they're all trying to get on there. So if they crack the whip with their country or whatever, you know, wherever they're ruling over, you know, prime minister, premier, uh, president, whatever, you know, governor, you know, they all want a seat on there. So that's why they're trying to say like, oh, I can flex my muscle when I need to. You know, I, I can do what you asked me to do. You know what I mean? I'm not a pushover. I can put people, I can crack the whip and, you know, make people do what I do. You know what I mean? But I definitely feel like, you know, when they're talking on this sense is, you know, the one thing that we love about the emperor, first of all, highlighting his legs, that he is a protector. You know, I know when we talk about like emperor, empress, you know, that ultimate pairing, but I feel like, you know, for some people, some people are more masculine than feminine. Some people are more feminine than masculine. So I feel like in this spread here, they are definitely highlighting one of you or both of you of being those that protector, that provider, order and structure, you know, that fiery energy. So you may have, you know, be a little uh, firecracker, you know, or you have a temper, you know, it, it just depends. But I feel like I don't feel like in a temper in a bad way. I feel like in a temper of order and structure, keeping the kids in line, like, you know, you're doing you're doing cruddy in school or not pulling your weight by doing your chores. It's like, you know, come on. Give me your phone. Let's get this stuff done, you know, to show them that, you know, we got to do these things, you know, sometimes, you know, like mommy and daddy don't want to work, but we got to work to pay the bills. So, you know, we all got to do things we don't want to do. So can you help us out by, you know, taking out the trash they're showing? But I definitely feel like, you know, very positive in a, if they're highlighting your relationship, if you're in one or if you're, you're calling in one, I definitely feel like definitely very, very positive. So we have the three of wands. So calling, they're saying your ship is about to come in with no harm to none. Strong, independent person. You know, even though you're using this walking stick to hold yourself up, I de you know, going back to 34, 34 with the light worker, talking about your guardian angels. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the star here, a message from our guardian angels. But, um, you know, saying that they've got your back. And I feel like this is what, the, you know, you're, you know, looking out on your future. We have no idea what it brings in here, but, you know, the universe has your back and, you know, there's nothing that you can't handle. You know, definitely emperor energy. So some of us are worried about at the home and I definitely get that. You know what I mean? Because this is where I say, you know, it's okay to observe, but not, but don't absorb it. You know, we see things happening around the world and it, you know, sometimes it's too much because it can be, especially the past two years with everything that was going on, you know. 
uh, Black Lives Matter, Every Child Life Matters. Like, it's a lot on top of cough, cough, like, you know, on top of people losing their jobs. It's like, they don't understand that. It's like, what are you trying to do? And then they talk about mental health. It's like, you have one day for mental health with, um, in January. And it's like, and you wonder, and, but you lack resources to help the, it's like, what are you doing to our youth? You're making them so scared, you know, like, what do they have to look forward to? Because all of this is going on. You know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, well, we'll take it out of the news cycle and nobody will care anymore. You know, it's just, it, it's no longer a headline. We're going to put something else up there. So now it's all these world events that are going on. And it's just like, you know, this is where, you know, we're holding everything close to our chest in fear of it. But I feel like it's like, you know, do what you can, what you can control. That guy said it best. I have it on my IG feed. He's like, you know, sit there and write down that everything is worrying you and cross out every single thing that you cannot control. Whatever is left, what can you do to change that situation? If you can't do anything, then don't worry about it. You know, worry about what's happening right here, right now. Right now, I'm working. Nothing wrong with that. Working. What else do I have to accomplish today? That's all you got to worry about. If it's not in front of you on your plate, yes, there could be knockings of things going around, but it's not in front of me right now. So right now, this is in front of me. This is what I have to worry about. That's all I'm going to worry about. Because this card is all about you're holding things close to your chest and we do that. Our children, our job, our spouse, whatever this is. But I feel like it's just like you have nothing to fear or worry about at all. You know, obviously with everything that they're pushing, trying to do, you know, it, it's overwhelming. So nine of pentacles, everything is lining up nicely. You know, purity of the situation, depending who you are again, like, you know, this is not going to resonate with some of you. Some of you do some shady dealings. You cannot expect things to line up for you. You cannot expect that thing not to come boomerang back around and hit you in the head. You know, if you do things with a pure intention and you're no harm to anyone, then, you know, I definitely could say, you know, things are lining up nicely for you. You know, this is what all the sun is about. You know, this isn't a minor way. This isn't a major way, you know, but I feel like the future is lining up purity of the situation again, tied to our karma, depending who you are. So all these cards are definitely highlighting the home 10 of pentacles. So again, going up, you know, with the 10 of cups, ultimate happiness, very much the sun card. So you know, very much in a minor way with the, the nine of cups, the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of cups is the sun ultimate success, happiness, you know, order and structure things that we love. So regarding the home life, definitely could see a lot of positivity there, but you know, it depends who you are and what your situation is. Are you calling in love? They are definitely saying it's coming in and that this is going to be an amazing partnering, you know, unconditional love. Everything is sitting in a, a, um, a good place. You know, maybe you're fearful and they're saying, you know, you're holding things close to your chest because of everything that's going on. And I feel like this is where they're saying dial it in, you know, definitely going with, you know, with joy and strength, you know, destiny, following your instincts, you know, so, you know, talking about a journey, life is a journey, but we have the sun here as well. So. I feel like, you know, regarding the home life, everything's sitting in a good place. So for our next hand, we have patience. This is from the numerology deck. This is when they were talking about leadership and they were talking about some people were granted or given certain powers and they sat there and misappropriated them or misused them. And, you know, they wanted that celebrity. They wanted that clout, that fame. And it's like now, the you know, the reapers come in to collect, you know. They're knocking on their door. So it's just like, you know, this is why they're, you know, if you watch those kinds of things, you could see that they're selling things off. So this card indicates a time to stop and enjoy the present moment. And I definitely feel like you see that here, you know, especially with the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of cups, it's stop and enjoying the moment, you know, the unconditional love. Everything is a good, a good place. And nothing more can be done to achieve the outcome you desire rather than take action you are being asked to evaluate the progress and clarify your dreams, which will help me manifest them sooner. So we talk about, you know, when the portal was open, 11, 11, you know, we got 12, 12 coming up, you know, so we got 21, 21. So it's like those days where we can manifest. I know some people will probably poop on me for this. I've heard don't manifest on the new moon or the full moon because it's a completed cycle. But I feel like, you know what? It's your journey. It's your life. Whatever day resonates with you, whatever day, like some days I'll just sit there and they're like, I feel, you know, it's a great day to do some things, you know, so I'll do them. So it's like, do what pulls towards you. It's your journey. This card can also indicate the need to take your time and pace yourself instead of making hasty decisions. 
Failure to do so could result in stress and disappointment. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Mental health, stress and disappointment. The holidays do bring up a lot. And people, especially if there's a loss associated in the family, it reminds us that that person isn't there. But, you know, maybe set a plate for them. Maybe sit there and make one of their favorite dishes. Sit there and hang up their stocking or, you know, whatever this is. It's like, you know, there's positive ways that we can sit there and still have them in our memory. Because even though they're physically not here, they're spiritually still here. Just depends where you are in your, you know, space and what resonates with you in life. And I definitely feel like, you know, having patience with yourself. You know, if you're calling in love, have patience for that. If your ship hasn't come in, I definitely feel like knockings of that. If things aren't sitting in a great place where you could sit there and be like, wow, like at this moment, everything is good. I feel like they're talking about that. And I feel like it's just at the, to dial things back, especially, you know, if you're overwhelming yourself. So we have effort. So I feel definitely shh, this bird going back to our intuitive abilities with the Vikings rune with effort because it's 13, but one plus three is four. So going back to the four of pentacles, um, I believe right here, you know what I mean? I feel like this is like, you know, pulling things closer to our chest if you're worried doubt of losing them or losing something, you know, maybe work has been cut back, you know, just depends whatever your situation is. But I feel like, you know, following our intuition, yellow in cards is usually our intuition or this is like, you know, our crown chakra, our heart, our, uh, our soul and our gut feeling, our instincts. So I feel like, you know, are you putting that effort towards, like I said, write down everything that's going on that you're worried about. And what can you control? You cannot control that work is cutting back hours because, you know, maybe you're in the manufacturing sector and maybe they don't have the parts and the, the machine is down. So they're, they they don't have work for you. Even if it's taking out the trash or cutting boxes down, whatever this is, they're showing like a, like a, a factory kind of setting. But you can't control the fact that the machine is down and they don't have the parts. So it's like you can't control that. So, you know, just, you know, cut back on things that you don't, you can't, you know, that are luxury things cut those things back and you know if christmas can't be the, as big as you wanted it you know that's okay you know do wow perseverance is the number four in this deck that's crazy but i feel exactly what they said perseverance you will you will overcome this you know the the one thing is you know when you're in those valleys in life the only you, you look up you know and what did they say with the channel messages we're looking up to the sky to creator you know and, and for hope this card indicates a time when extra effort is required to overcome your current obstacle and challenges. You are now being tested and your attitude is key. Rather than surrender to self-pity, laziness, negativity, or frustration, you must utilize your inner power. For you're stronger than you think. So they're saying when the tough get when the going gets tough, the tough must get going. Pull, so pull yourself together and have faith you will succeed. So I find it funny that the number four in this deck is actually perseverance. So I feel like they're saying, you know, if things aren't lining up the way that you hoped, I feel like they're bringing that in with the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of cups, the nine of cups. They're saying you have nothing to fear at all. So you know what I mean? So maybe you are the emperor, you're the provider. And so right now you're feeling insecure because you cannot bring that. You're not providing the way that you usually do, but that's not your fault. It's not like you sat there and decided, you know, I'm going to walk out of my job today. No, something happened. So we have new beginnings. So even though this has happened, there's something, you know, we are coming down to a new year. You know what I mean? Chiron will be out of the, the sky on December 19th. So it's just like if you're a cardinal sign, you're going through a major purge. So maybe by you not being at your job, a new opportunity comes up. Someone said, hey, you know what? I heard you were laid off. How about you come work for me? And you may end up doing around here. They do tips and they make wreaths. So it's like you end up doing that instead. So it's just like, even though that has happened, does not define the, the rest of doom and gloom. Like everything is dead. It doesn't define that. So, you know, talk, call up your buddies, call up your friends, you know, people you've helped out in the past. Like, you know, Hey, do you have anything going on? You need help with anything? You know, someone that usually hires around this time. You need any extra help, you know, loading dock, whatever this is. And you never know what opportunity. You may end up quitting that job and doing that something else full time. And you enjoy that more because you're with your buddies. So when one door closes, another one will open. This card indicates a time for new beginnings where it will be pleasant for 
of op- will be plenty of opportunity to create a fresh start. These opportunities play a very important part in your catapulting you where you need to be. So it is in your best interest to follow them wherever they may lead. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to find the inner strength and courage to step into the light. Step into the unknown to feel free and do it anyway and create a brand new life. And I definitely feel like with the sun, and I'm knock my runes here, but you're stepping into the light. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean you have to be a celebrity or anything to be in the light. You know? I feel like, you know, they put too much emphasis on all that. You have to have, you know, it's nice to work hard and have nice things. I'm not running down the people that work hard and have nice things. That's not what I'm saying here. I'm just saying, don't sit there and and put your mental health and everything into a detrimental situation where it costs you something. It costs your soul. It costs your, your happiness just to get to that thing. For what? You know? So, we have healing. This card indicates a time to focus on your healing abilities and be of service to others. So, like I said, you know, uh, people count on you as to be that mama bear, the papa bear. But I'm definitely getting a female energy here. Where maybe you get seasonal depression, you know, with the blue of the card. Maybe you get the winter blues. So I feel like they're saying, like, you know, people count on you to be that light in their life. And don't underestimate that. Maybe you feel like you're, you know, you're putting yourself down saying, like, I don't bring anything to the table. I have no value. Well, why do you feel that way? Who's told you that? Who's who's put that narrative in your head? You got to watch that with the shadow moon. Because it's a full moon. Full moons are very powerful. But, you know, they're going to, those negative thoughts are going to try and creep in. And especially if you dealt with this your whole life, this is something you're going to continue to have to deal with your whole life is to shut that energy out because you've been taught it for so many years. You know what I mean? You're in your like 56 is what they're showing me. You've been dealing with that for 56 years. You're going to have to work for the hope by the grace of God the next 56 years of changing that narrative. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to expand your understanding of the healing arts and uh, the many different ways to heal. Perhaps you feel drawn. So they're taking, like, talking about maybe going back to school, doing acupuncture. But I feel like, you know, in the sense of um, of being that beacon of light in people's life. So very much going back to the lover's card, we have true love. So if you've been calling it in, I feel like this is another confirmation of that. The romantic stirrings in your heart have uh, reached the universe to deliver great to deliver great love to you. So if this is something that you've been calling in, I feel like having patience for it to come in. You don't want to sit there and just have any Joe Schmo come into your life. You want that, you know, what you've been asking for to come into your life. So they're asking you to start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So this is where they're saying, you know, you have kids, they're old enough, help get them to, you know, help you start taking out the trash or, you know, walk the dog, whatever, you know, whatever you can help get them to help you out. Or, you know, maybe you're putting up the decorations and you need a help in hand. They're old enough to help now. So you don't have to take everything by yourself. I love the green hue. So very heart chakra, you know, doing it with a loving tone, doing it from a loving place, not in a punishment place. It's teaching them to be responsible. So you see it on her forehead, she's highlighting the... um waiting crescent so very gaia energy here go outside you have been indoors too long go outside and get some fresh air definitely because the you know in canada the winter season is here if you're able to obviously in uh the western um I keep saying you know western's right i thought i was saying eastern but western obviously you know things are going on there but i feel like before we're you're in too much because of the colder temperatures and the snow but grounding yourself water very water energy with this uh spread but we are in taurus taurus is very grounding so sorceress there's the unicorn i i know with some people they said when you see a unicorn doesn't matter if it's a t-shirt plushy cartoon whatever this is drawing painting uh sticker it's like three wishes coming in you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality you know we keep getting that knocking there's the full moon. See, people knock me for sitting there saying that, oh, we can manifest in the full moon. But there you go. So I definitely feel like, you know, put your intentions out there. Make them crystal clear. So we have the eight of wands. Eight of wands is shh. Eight of wands is all about, you know, uh, things coming out of the blue. 
you know, that look of healing. It's blue. But with uh, messages coming out of the blue, this they're saying this could be an old flame or a twin flame. So going back to the lovers, they have been talking, again, been talking about this for weeks. But this whole week has been all lovers and two of cups. Um, that duality, the union, you know. Um, but they keep showing me the king of cups. And one thing with the king of cups said this could be a family member and this could be, you know, an ally. You know, unconditional love in that way. But, um... You know, this is something that comes out of the blue. So like social media or they just show up at your door, you know, maybe they hear you're doing something and they just show up. So I feel like if you're calling in love, I definitely feel like, you know, out of the blue, this person will make it known that, you know, that they want to pursue things with you or, you know, maybe they're feeling nostalgic during the, the, the holiday season. They're showing the month of August. I don't know if someone's born in August, but they're showing August. See, this is the only thing that bothers me is this King of Wands. You know, the King of Wands, like, there's nothing wrong with being a fire sign. You know, but Leo men kind of get this bad rap, you know, where they're, you know, they're all full of themselves, egotistical and all that. Um, but, you know, this is, you know, sexy, vicarious, you know. But the thing is that they're saying you cannot count on this person being by your side unless they give in. Even if you're engaged to them. I feel like even if you're married to them, I feel like unless you feel that they respect you and love you and are giving you a hundred percent of them. I feel like, you know what I mean? When they talk about this, uh, love coming out of here, I, I don't know. I'd be cautious with this one. They did talk about this a while ago where they were saying that one will come in and it's just going to be, you know, hidden and quitted or just like playing around with your feelings, just get a reaction to see how you react. And then there was going to be an actual good one. I feel like, you know, speaking about earlier in the week where, it's like, you know, as you get older or, or mature, rather, it's like you sit there and it's like, it's not only about the pretty packaging. Does the pretty pack, does the prettiness match the inside? You know, I saw one praying and I was like, that's really cool. The fact that he consults with angels before he makes any decisions. Some people may think he's like weird for doing it. You know, they definitely make fun of him, but it's like, you know, he's evolved to this amazing being. And I'm just like, wow, that's pretty cool. And the other one, they're all messing around and he's sitting there reading. So he's gaining knowledge, you know? So it's just not about, you know, what else do they have going on for them? You know, you don't want to date someone and there's nothing going on upstairs. So we have the lovers again. This is from the Dark Mansion. I love this deck. Very um, Tim Burton. Um, oh, what's the other one there? Like Box Trolls. I can't remember the animation company. But it's the lovers again. And this is what we've been getting all week, this lovers card. So they are definitely talking. And again, this could be in a business setting as well. Maybe they're telling you like, you know, you're um, like they said, you know, um, calling for people to help you. So maybe your business is doing so amazing. I salute to you that you're calling in for more help. You know, maybe this is someone to help you edit. Maybe this is someone to help you with the books, help you with bookings, you know, but it could be a partnership of that. Going back to the King of Cups. Doesn't necessarily have to be in a love matter. It could be a family member. It could be a new friend. We got the star card. I love that. I love the fact that the star card came out here. The star card is all about wish fulfillment. You know, um, talking about if it's been hectic, you know, this is a time of peace and harmony, you know, and I definitely feel like the holidays is all about that. It's like, you know, even like someone cuts you off or takes your parking spot. Be calm. You know, maybe go shopping earlier. <laughs> but they talk about this time of peace and healing. They talk about, you know, your guardian angel being here to have, you know, they're saying you'll find a wish fulfillment, you know, all of your wishes come true, you know? So I definitely feel like, you know, we're getting a lot of that, especially with going back to when they're saying calling, you know, for assistance, what do you need assistance with? You know, if there's too much on your plate not right now, how can then the universe assist you? You know, this is where they're saying, make your manifestations clear. What do you need assistance with? So even if it seems like something minor, ask for assistance. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. So we have first chakra, Archangel Michael. This is all about stability and security. So going back to the emperor, red energy here. This is all grounding. This is the grounding chakra. But going back to the emperor and the red energy. So safety, you know, even if you don't have that partner in your life, you be your own safety and security. You know, let your, 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 your spiritual beliefs be that safety and security for you. When you feel uh, insecure, 
you know, ask those manifestations to lift those things. They specifically talk about male um, um, fertility here. So maybe you're having fertility issues there. But there is ways to deal with it. Definitely speaking to your doctor about it is the biggest thing. It looks like someone may have a problem with their prostate is what they're showing me. So uh, Michael holds a golden orb, gold, a globe of red energy at the first chakra. This is grounding. So telling us to go outside and get ourselves grounded. So <clears throat> the snow is starting to fall. It's supposed to melt. It's supposed to warm up. So, you know, if when you're able to get outside and walk around, do it. So talk about the base of the spine. So very like get, get meditate, you know, whenever you're having a weekend and there's, you know, you know, I know a lot of people are decorating right now, but you know, if you're able to take that time out for yourself to, you know, ground yourself. So it uh, gives you a sense of stability and security. Um, this is where our safety and stability. So when you feel insecure, if there's something that's not grounded in us, so maybe, maybe like, you know, something's going on that makes us feel this way. So when we manifest, can you please ground me so the, these insecurities can be lifted? So they're saying that um, when it's upright, it reveals the energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. When you have problems with feeling secure and the past, these cha these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. So very much with the star card that came before this, <clears throat> if you've been having a rough go of things, you will find that peace and harmony are being restored. Um, you will sit there and um, have a wish or all your wishes fulfilled. So, you know, they're talking about this positive shift. So it may not fix everything that's going on in life. I'm sure like there's, I feel like this is like on the deeper level with especially 1111. I feel like, you know, this on the deeper level where it's like we try to take on the world's problems and we have to understand like, you know, we can pray for the world's problems, but we, we cannot physically one person by themselves do that. But it's like, you know, so many people donate to help the cause take taking donations i've seen people that are accepting donations and driving all the way out west to sit there and help out so there's different ways to sit there and you know not you you, you don't have to take on the battles by yourself you know when they were saying ask for assistance so ask you know to open the hearts of people to help and give to those organizations so archangel michael is bringing you strength and personal stability we definitely got strength card with the viking ruin so allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. So maybe you've been feeling insecure and maybe that's one thing you could talk about. Can you please ground me? Can you please bring that energy into my, you know, my first chakra, you know, and ground me more in whatever this is. Maybe you don't even know what it is. You just feel some insecurity inside you. So ask them to relieve that in some way. They're talking about water. So it looks like someone they're telling you to go have a bath, have an Epsom salt bath. And just take time for yourself, you know, close your eyes and just, you know, taking all that deliciousness of the warm water and feeling comfortable and just, you know, enjoying that moment, you know, just sit there and relax. Funny enough, we have storm warning here and I definitely feel like, you know, with the four of pentacles, that's all about either living too much in the past or too much in the future, but holding things close to our chest and they're telling you to drop it like they're saying you have nothing to fear at all. You know, again, write down everything that's worrying you and what can you control and what can you cannot control, you know, and if you cannot make any moves on like, say, you know, there's a certain situation like you got laid off. Well, you can't control that. You have nothing to do with that. You can't help that that part is not there. And, you know, there's rolling blackouts happening in, you know, in China and <clears throat> obviously they're going to take care of themselves first. You know what I mean? As any country would do. And it's going to take a little longer or like, you know, they're showing the, um, the shipping crates, you know, your crate was delayed. So you, you, you get laid off for, you know, a couple of days or a couple of weeks, you know, sit there and ask anybody, anybody got any extra work, snow removal, anything, you know, just anything just to, you know, get you through that time. So we have clouds on the horizon. This card indicates the potential difficulties in the external world or within yourself. I feel like this is an emotional sense. I definitely feel like with the four of pentacles, I don't feel like this is the outside world. The difficulty is uh, coming closer and you may have already heard rumblings of its potential possibilities around you. The caution here is to be, to be um, conscious and creative, but not fearful. They're showing someone watching the weather. So I'm wondering if that's what someone, some people are fearful. And I definitely understand that. 
Consider what's going on and look at the situation with calm clarity. Investigate your options and honor yourself and your intentions. Stand up for yourself and take action on your own behalf. As all difficulties, even the worst storms, passes. Always remember you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may be coming your way. I have the power to overcome any obstacle, no matter what's going on. I can be strong, confident, and self-directed. You know, maybe you're the type of person that you are drawn to tarot. You know, if you have your cards, maybe you haven't used them in a while. Dust them off and, you know, sit there and pull some cards for yourself and see what happens. See what they have to tell you, you know. I feel like you maybe you're not getting enough sleep or maybe you're feeling guilty because you want to sleep. And it's like if you feel exhausted, maybe you, you, your body's just going through it and it just needs a little extra sleep. You know, especially with the full moon affecting our throat chakra, you know. You know, I definitely lost my voice this week, you know, doing a reading. So it's just like, you know, it's affecting everybody differently. So, you know, just take time for yourself, ground yourself. I definitely feel like, you know, when they're talking about, you know, holding things close to our chest, I feel like they're saying you're either leaving too much in the past or too much in the present. Release all fear, worry, and doubt. You know what I mean? And I definitely feel like because the full moon is a shadow moon, don't let that creep in. You know, don't let this storm creep in. You know, there's their thunder and lightning. There was no tornado or water, but, you know, there's our thunder and lightning they were showing and with the channel messages. But, you know, take on what you can control. You know, yeah, it is overwhelming everything that's going on around us. But I definitely feel like, you know, especially with the channel cards, you know, things have happened, but you are making the decision to move forward. You know, you're making, we, we, how many times do we get the six of, uh, Six of Swords here, you know, we're moving forward because we were, you know, deceived or we didn't follow our intuition. We definitely get rest and rejuvenation, you know, so don't feel guilty if you, you know, you're taking a nap here and there, you know, or you're saying you're putting, you're keeping certain people at bay because they need a lot of your energy and you're just like, I can't handle, you know, giving anyone any of my energy. I need to sit there and uh, take care of myself right now because, you know, like myself, I know I'm more, it's just more than me. My, one of my girlfriends and her daughter are definitely going through it as well. So it's just, you know, taking time for yourself, light some candles, have a nice bath, you know, sit there and have some warm soup, you know, so whatever you can to bring, you know, that positive energy in your life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this forecast and projections for a new moon that will happen on November 19th. Lunar eclipse under Taurus that will be grounding energy, you know, and I feel like, you know, grounding yourself in a nice warm, hot bath will be definitely a great way to, to change your energy. If it has been, you know, they, if your mind has been kind of like in a tornado pattern. So may the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.